Hello, I'm a Dr. Kyung Park from Implant Dental Clinic in South Korea. Today, I'd like to answer a question about how to make new bones in maxillary sinus by using the patient's own blood instead of bone graft. Actually, this question was from a dentist who directly called my clinic. He wanted to learn about this particular procedure, so asked about workshop schedule. Well, due to COVID-19, I couldn't notify him when to hold workshop. So I've decided to provide this video to help him and others in advance. I've, dis I've prepared the maxillary sinus case of mine, hoping you can realize that it's not a good idea to perform bone graft in sinus and why bone graft is not necessary in the first place. After you watch, finish watching this video, I hope you understand the concept of my procedure and then find a way for yourself. So, let's get started. Here is a missing case of two maxillary molars. As you know, implant fixation force is inevitably weak because the remaining bone length is insufficient due to sinus. So, adding another fixture, I planted three fixtures by using socket lifting method without bone graft. Then, due to the bleeding during the surgery, blood will accumulate on the floor of sinus cavity. Depending on the structure of sinus and based on the general condition, the bottom bone level may appear upward more than this, or you can get hurt by cortical fixation around two places. Here are pictures taken after one month, six months, and a year. You can see that elevated part has been turning whiter than before. Therefore, this raised area is not soft tissue, but newly made bone has matured over time. After another month, the bone looks even whiter than before because it has matured completely and become hardened. The before and after pictures. I'll take this area with CT scan. First, let's take a look at this area. It's an actual view at this level after seven months and the 17 months. At the seventh month, at this area, there were still primitive bones, but time went by, the bones kept growing inward and filling the void. At the 17th month, they have become hardened and matured in complete manner. This time, Shall we take a look at this area? Let's compare the actual views from this level after 7th month and the 17th month. You can see the fully matured bone has covered up over the top of the fixture. This amazing result has been obtained by using socket lifting without bone graft. I hadn't known there would be so much bone growth, I would have planted the longer fixture. But from the beginning, I didn't expect this unusual outcome, so I planted a short fixture. And also, I planted three fixtures. As an example of usual outcome after socket lifting, I'll take the opposite side case. Although I use the same method of both cases, uh, there is difference of result between them. So now, think about the reasons why that difference came out. First, 
the sinus membrane was not torn apart and elevated intact to such a large extent and high level. And second, I guess there was uh, exceptionally a lot of blood bleeding during the surgery, so sinus cavity was fully filled up with blood clots. And additionally, uh, the structure of sinus is uh, favorable for blood clot maintenance. And so, that huge amount of blood clots were rapidly changed into the primitive bones before dissolving. I think that's because the patient's general condition at that time was good. Therefore, I might say this case is a very exceptional one and also very lucky case. But I think we dentists don't have to leave it to just luck anymore. In order to make so much bone, what should we do? I could find the answer from the regions of different regions and also additionally invented a way to get and maintain blood clots. So these days, in order to make bones as much as I need, I'm using the laterally approaching technique instead of socket lifting. That's because I believe the bone can be made easily by the following steps. First step, collecting patient blood separately and making blood clots. And second, lifting membrane intact, finally applying the clots into sinus. I call it artificial blood clot forming procedure, in short, ABCP. Let me show you some ABCP cases. The before after pictures. The results are slightly different from each other depending on the structure of sinus and the patient general condition. Before, it was impossible to perform implants. Now, ABCP has made it possible to perform implants. But in this case, I didn't do ABCP. Nevertheless, the reason I show you this case is it would be useful for you to fully comprehend the principles of ABCP. That is, bone graft is not necessary in the first place because bone can be made easily with patient blood. And second, bone graft is not recommendable because grafted bone may interfere with bone growth. If you are not sure about this, you cannot follow the steps of ABCP correctly and then the probably the results will be bad. If you have still doubt about ABCP, I suggest you go through all your past sinus case with using socket lifting without bone graft. If you can find a similar one among yours, you'll be sure of this. Then all that's left is finding a way for yourself. I could do it. You can do it. Why not? If you are having trouble finding a way yourself, I can help you. But it's hard to tell when to hold workshop due to COVID-19. Instead, I'm going to try to contact you individually. So if you want, please contact Taiwan Tech Company via phone or email. Thanks for watching and see you later.